Hey guys, today we knocked it out of the park with this one, a 16 by 20 inch canvas. If you, sir or ma'am, if you specifically, if you want to paint this painting, stick around. I'm going to show you what colors we need, what brushes we need, and we're going to get to it. I'm so excited to show you guys how to do this one. Ready? One, two. Today we have Indian yellow, bright red, dark sienna, alizarin crimson, Prussian blue, midnight black, and titanium white on our new clear palette, okay? Got these for Christmas from my beautiful wife, so we're going to try it out, see how it works. My other one I kind of let go too long, and now it's too hard to get clean, so we'll see how this one works. Today we're going to, uh, again, just kind of make something up as we go along and follow along and see if you can do it too. If you can, send it in. I'd love to see them, so we're going to get started. Why not for this one? We'll just do... Now yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go along. I'm going to go right into Indian Yellow. And let's see, let's do a little bit down in here first. Maybe a little bit of our red. You know how we like to do. Kind of make that orangish color. Maybe even a little bit more. We'll see. This is just the reflections. I think I'm going to do some water. So we'll come up again. Indian Yellow and Red. And why don't we just kind of... I want to make it really light up towards the horizon, uh, up towards the top. Kind of colorful down here. I like that. We're going to have a bunch of stuff kind of covering over this painting today, so don't worry about doing the whole canvas. You don't want to do the whole canvas. You want to leave a lot of this nice and white and, and light to the touch. We did start the canvas with Bob Ross Liquid White. Okay, You want to be able to see the ridges of your fingerprint in there. That's all you really want to do. Got our Happy Little Landscapes apron. Of course, got the hat. Go to etsy.com slash shop slash happy landscape art. You can buy literally everything that I offer, okay? So right here, why don't we just kind of blend that out. Take our two inch brush and just very lightly, it's just gonna be a very soft light sky, okay? Just very light. I'm not gonna put any blue or any black. We're not gonna do a, you know, a wicked kind of dramatic sky like we like to do on these ones. Just gonna be very soft. Kind of like that. It's just a very soft little orangey sky, okay? Nothing too crazy. Let's take our, you can see my crimson starting to run its way off the palette. Take our crimson, uh, sorry, crimson, I'm all over the place. Take our titanium white on a filbert brush. We're gonna go in and we're gonna make a really bright sun, okay? So let's say the sun sort of setting why don't we do one back here? How well, you can do it is just get the paint on one side of the brush, right? Kind of stick it against the canvas, push hard, and then rotate. Okay? Rotate that sucker. And that way you get this nice circle, right? Instead of having to paint it on your own, just kind of stick and push hard. Let those bristles bend out. I don't know how well you guys can see it. And just let it rotate. Okay? And that way you get the the circle with all the, the bristles kind of pushing against each other. Takes a little bit of practice. There we go. Sort of what I want, just a little white circle. This one might be hard to see until we start putting some trees in there. We've got our Jasco brush cleaner. Just bought some new stuff today. And then our old trusty beater bucket. And then we got some paper towels over here. All right. Let's see what we're going to do. So we're taking and just mixing up our blue, black, and crimson. Okay. Added a little bit more crimson than anything else. We kind of want to have these trees a little bit pinkish, softer red out in the back. Okay, we're going to throw in some of our titanium white. Ooh, this nice purpley color. Maybe even a bit more crimson. We get this real soft kind of purpley color back here. Don't need a whole lot of paint for it. We're only going to paint a few trees out of this color. So again, we wiggle, wiggle on the way down, right? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And then we're going to go back in and paint a couple, a little bit of far off forest back here. Okay, so, queso, queso dip. Somebody make me some cheese over here. Some chips, cheese. No, again, by myself. All right, let's see. 
What if we come in like this and we'll just make some soft little things go right over our our sun or our yeah our sun there, okay? Nice bright sun in this one. And we got some far off forest back here. And then why don't we do this? We'll take a little take a little bit of our you know, we got nothing on our brush, just cleaned our two inch brush, right? And we come and we'll wipe it down here in our liquid white just so we can get a little bit of white on the brush. And come up here and we'll start to make our fog, right? Just like so, and we'll make the rest of that. We just want to have these kind of hard lines. Hard lines for our trees, a little bit of fog down here, and that'll be the kind of sort of the base of where we'll start to make our little river and everything else. Okay, what do we do with our fog? Nice and soft, making our circles. Again, we're just sort of, we're trying this for the first time, so we'll see how it turns out. If it doesn't turn out well, you guys won't be watching this video. Let's do that. Maybe take just a little bit of some red, just a little bit though. We'll put like some far off little clouds back here. Take our one inch brush and just kind of mix those up. You don't want to mix them all the way away. You still want to be able to see these faint little bits, little lines of red, and they'll be covered by a lot of stuff anyway. So let's see. Do that. And then why don't we come in on our other side over here? Use a little bit more. Kind of darken up those colors just a little bit with some black, maybe some blue, you can throw that in there. Just mix them right on the brush. And then we'll come up and say, who knows, there's a there's a big old sucker that lives up here. Just with the corner of the brush. And these ones we're not gonna go all the way down on, right? You see how I'm rotating back and forth with the hand? Alright, rotate, rotate. I'm giving these these upward, upward sort of branches, and there's going to be a ton of them over here. So don't, don't even worry. Put a little bit of white, mix it with our color there. Just give a little bit different shade. A little lighter. Come in. Maybe there's a smaller guy who lives off back here. Again, we're doing all these upward, upward trees. Okay. V comes down, we got some more, a little bit darker again, a little bit of blue, a little bit of black, a little bit of crimson, all just right on the brush. We'll see what happens. There's another guy who lives off over here. We're only going about, you know, about halfway down. We want to see a lot of trunks in the trees that we're painting today, okay? Normally I go all the way down to the bottom, but in today's painting we're just going to see some trunks. And there's another guy. Again, taking the corner of the brush, right, coming at it from the side, and just pushing up and rotating back and forth. All right, for these we'll just fill them in so we can have a kind of sense, a little bit of darkness down here. Just making a big old mess today. And this one's got a little bit more blue in it than the rest of them do. All we're doing is just leaving a little bit of sky showing through. Again, this is just a very light, almost whitish sky. You know, very realistic sky. And you start, and you literally, you go outside and you look and you find these skies outside. There's a lot of white in the sky, depending on the time of day. So. That's what we're going to do. Get those over there. Let's put a little bit more of that red and a little reflection. A little of the Indian yellow down in there. Everything starts to grow on you, so be mindful. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Looking pretty close to what we want to achieve here. Why don't we just keep coming 
down here. These aren't going to be, you know, any bits of trees. We're just going to, you know, all this stuff down here. It's just going to be some background color for the highlights that we put on, okay? So let's go like this. Again, we've left some of the bits of sky showing through. But a lot of this down here is just, I mean, you can even mix it up. It's just going to be dark. We're going to put our tree trunks and everything else kind of over the top of that. Got our little bit of water reflection on this side. It's starting to look pretty good. It's looking pretty good. Pretty dang good. When we wash off our brushes while we're at it. I'm going to save our little purplish kind of tree color. It's kind of hard to see on this palette. You can see right through the dang thing. But we're going to save that. And why not? We can... we got to really work ourselves forward in this one. We can't just kind of do all the shadows and then come back and do all the highlights. I mean, we might. We probably could, but it's not really what I want to try today. So, let's see. In nature, you get a lot of, when you're painting water, it, it tends to look black, depending on, you know, what angle you're looking at it, how deep it is, how shallow it is, what's underneath it. So, it doesn't always have to be blue, remember that. Why don't we take these and we'll just kind of start pulling them out just slightly, give us our little bit of, of our uh, kind of shoreline that we know we're going to work with here. Maybe it goes over there, a little bit of white come through. And then why don't we just take our our black and we'll just start pulling in from the sides. So you can throw some blue in there too if you wanted to. But we want it mainly dark, okay? Let's go all the way to the bottom. Again, you don't have to mix it up completely, but you want, you know, you want to have a little bit of differences, but you want it mainly dark. Real dark down in here in the corner. Maybe we'll sign it down here. Take some of this. We'll pull it over. We just want to have a little bit of that orangey reflection. All right, over here doesn't matter. We're gonna end up covering it all anyway. And then we'll just go back and forth. Got a little bit of orange, kind of our river where we can see the reflection of the light, and then as it gets behind these trees, it gets darker and darker and darker. And then it's real dark over here in the shadow of all these trees. It's not looking too bad, actually. Let's take some snow on our palette knife. We'll just give ourselves a little bit of, uh, of some shoreline to work with. Just again, so our eyes kind of know what the heck we're doing. It comes over here. And we're doing it just like we would normally do a mountain, but we're just kind of pulling, you can see how I'm doing it. We're just kind of pulling sideways a little bit down. All right, but you want it to break. You want to have those differences in color. And let some of that darker color kind of shine through the back. And just pull it and pull it and pull it. Be a little bit thick. And just by going over this area, we've kind of picked up a little bit of that orange, so it almost looks like there's some orange reflection coming down from the sky onto the snow. It's looking really cool. A little bit more of that shadowy color. So we've got a little bit of white and a little bit of shadow back here. It's almost look like rocks on the shoreline back here. Now I'll take some liquid white. Right, just straight up old messy liquid white. And we're gonna come back in and make our our little water lines. Best part about liquid white is you can go back and blend it. If you put on too much, you can go back and blend out. You know, we're really we're pushing against the, the canvas here and just kind of dragging it along. So we've got this just bit of water. might have got too much of it over here in the in our little water so we'll just literally take it and kind of 
not blend it all the way away, but just make it real light back there. And that kind of gives more little light reflections that are bouncing off of our water back there. Take this bit. And as you hold the, you know, the palette knife firm against the canvas, it'll deposit this little ridge of, you know, thicker liquid white, and that'll look like our, our water lines, which is looking really good, actually. All right. We take, we'll go into that liquid white again, just with our little micro size fan brush. Right, you can use the bigger brush, you can use whatever is available to you. Maybe a little bit of the titanium white will mix it in there, just so it's a little bit thicker. And then come in and we'll just start kind of popping highlights onto our trees. We don't want too many. We want more along the edges where the sun's actually hitting it. Come up here. And then lesser on this, you know, the darker side of the trees. We're going to need to get some more liquid white, I think. But again, we're not going to go all the way down, so don't go all the way down. We'll go about halfway down these trees with our liquid white. And it can be nice and goopy, because these are some serious snow-covered trees, okay? It doesn't have to be very light. But you want it on there, and just on the, sort of on the right-hand side, about halfway down. Let's do this little guy over here. Just about halfway down. And then we'll throw some tree trunks on those suckers, okay? Now we can make them out of straight black. We can do brown, you know, but if we're gonna do brown, it can't be super bright because these are in the shadow. So why don't we mix up the brown and the black? Maybe some of that purple that we made. Right, just a smidgen, littlest bit of white, just so we can see what they look like. Kind of mix those up. Come in, say there's one right here. Maybe another tree trunk. Maybe there's a trunk back here of some trees that we can't even see. That are covered by these bigger guys. Right, go down again. You can put some in between. That'll make it look like, you know, trunks are kind of shining through from where we can't even see. Trees that are kind of behind these other trees. To give you that effect, we can take some, some lines and literally just scrape it up. Okay. Make these nice and pointy. Like so, but if you scrape in a couple kind of in between there, it'll look like you've got more trees than you actually do. Alright, so we've got our, our nice dark tree trunks. Let's go back in with just the littlest bit of the white, just kind of cover over those trunks. Just a little bit. Still want to let them shine through, but we don't want to just see the very top of them, you know what I mean? And then down underneath here, we can put some snow-covered bushes or something. So why don't we, let's change kind of color. We'll go a darker bit here. We'll do some of the black, some of the brown. Just kind of mix them again right here on the brush. On our one-inch brush, right? Sort of thick, because we want them to you know, be textured like that. And we'll just come out. We're not going to make them all the same size or the same shape. We just want them to, you know, be a little bit different. Maybe there's some blue in this one over here. A bit of that purple too. Just kind of pushing into the the canvas, uh, the easel, the palette. Can't even speak. Push into the palette. Maybe this guy comes up. He's much bigger. He moves over here. Just like that. Wash this sucker off. And we'll do the same thing. We've got our good amount of our titanium white with our liquid white, just so it'll stick, but it'll still be nice and goopy. All right, we'll come up and we'll just start highlighting these little bushes over here. Okay, we're not going to 
cover all of them. Just kind of, you don't want to cover all the shadows. But you want to have this you know, fair amount of white. Just going to mix in with our darker colors and kind of create this shadowy, snow covered little bush. Can you pull out the bottom a little bit. Wash all the goop off that. And then why don't we come in here and we'll just make a big old honking boulder in front of everything. So we'll get a little bit of our brown and white together. More brown than white though. And come in and just all you want is just a little bit of color. Right? You don't want a lot, it doesn't need to be super bright, but we want to have this little bit of you know, difference in there. Come back in with our white. Just come up right against that, that boulder. And then we've got our little snow covered little shoreline down here. Right out the end. And some of that liquid white and come in and just kind of clean up our lines. You can even do a bit of dark if you wanted to have, you know, a bit of kind of a difference in the in the shoreline. Maybe there's some rocks sticking out. Maybe there's a darker shadow over here. And you just don't want to overdo it. Okay. That's looking really good. I really like the way this is coming out. Really, really like it. There we go, a little bit dark over there. Kind of wipe that one away. It's almost like we've got this little river kind of rolling through, sun's kind of coming through, we've got all this white everywhere. bigger brush this time going through the same liquid white and the titanium white mixture that we had down here just giving it a little bit more of a thicker textured kind of feel still not covering up all the shadows you don't want to cover everything we got our trunks down there that are kind of hidden in that in the shadow of everything these ones over here are real foggy so you know we'll kind of figure out what we're going to do with those too dark over there. Put some white back in here and a little sheen on the water. Okay, I'll take a step back, look at it from your guys' angle. Man, it's looking good on the camera. Look at that. I like that. That is looking good. Almost like we got this little hill right here. Got a couple boulders. And even add another dark boulder back here. Kind of covered up. Darker than the rest. Maybe that one's not getting as much you know, light from this little bit of sunrise that we got coming up. Okay. The river almost seems to be too wide. I mean, you can go anywhere you want, but why don't we take some like some thick snow and we'll just start making our giving our river, making it a little bit shorter. Okay, maybe we got some shoreline of another bit of land that lives over here coming out. And then we can always go back in and, you know, give it some love over here. Again, everything is very soft, so you can't, you almost can't tell where something starts and where it stops, really. Nice thick bits of white snow though coming. So I mean we're getting globs, globs of paint. Okay, you can even see it hanging up there. And we're just kind of dragging it over, making sure we've got, you know, again some bits of light, some bits of dark, a lot of lighter areas. Take the slightest bit of our blue. 
underneath our brightest areas, we can throw some shadows. Okay, just a couple. I don't want to have too many, and then we'll come side to side with our with our two-inch brush, kind of soften everything down. There we go. This is looking really good. Got our river. All right, it's getting bigger as we go over here. Got our snow and our land on this side. We'll kind of figure out what we really want to do. Maybe there's a big tree that's kind of hanging over this whole thing. So we're going to figure it out. Yes, we are. A little bit of white because I just don't like the shoreline back there. Just got to work at it until you like it. Right? Maybe there's some ripples or something. Ripples in our water. as we're coming up to this thing, right? So maybe again it's more sheen on the water, you never know. A little bit of our dark, and we can make it look like ripples that way. until you like the way that it looks. All right, but we don't want the whole thing to ripple out. So we're just going to put a couple little highlights in back over there. Now it's almost like we've got these kind of shallow rocks and the water is just kind of flowing across, uh, across, across it. Okay, this is looking really good. You can't even tell where the trees kind of stop, where your, your mind will kind of make up where the horizon lives on this painting. It doesn't always have to be a hard line. Even out here, we've got so much fog that we can't really tell where the, the shoreline starts until you get to about right here. And then we've got this, got the bit of our snow, put some of our liquid white in, just give us the idea that there's a little bit of water kind of crashing against our snow. Or maybe this is a sheet of ice, it's not, you know, fully broken yet. A little bit of waves. Just make it messy. Yep. Maybe take our two-inch brush, just the, the, just the lightest bit, just a couple hairs of our brush. You don't want to brush these all the way too much. They want to have a little bit of texture. That is looking fan friggin tastic, okay? All right, so let's see what we're gonna do here. Still, the shoreline is just pissing me off out here. It's that bit of waterline. Who knows, but it's freaking irritating me. Okay, got that. Look a little cool as well as if we put a little bit of that dark in with some of our liquid white, like there's maybe some shadows that it, the, the ground is kind of casting, the water's kind of bashing up against it. And this is where you can kind of change the lay of your land as well. It doesn't have to be, you know, symmetrical. You can do anything you want, really. Again, we're just kind of making this up. We're learning. But the point is we're learning. We've got our snow over here. And now you know what? We'll take That's what we're going to do. Got an idea. Got an idea, you guys. Very 
very strange on this. We're on this clear palette. Okay, we've got uh, you know a few dips into our paint thinner. We're gonna start making some branches now. Maybe like I said, we've got this big ass tree. It just comes down and starts depositing all these branches. We're gonna get thicker as we go from the ends, right? Thinner down here, thicker from the ends. I mean, who knows? There's just tons of branches over here from this tree. And then we'll fill it all full of this snow-covered foliage, so don't worry about that. Right? You're like, Josh, what did you just do? Oh my god. I know. Just trust. Trust in me, Justin. And who knows? Like I said, it's going to be covered in foliage, so... And it may not. It may look, you know, pretty good on its own. We might keep the damn thing. More branches, more branches coming in from every which way. Again, you want a lot of paint thinner here, so your your little liner brush that's got your, you know, that we're making our branches with will flow over this. Uh, canvas. You don't want it to, you know, start blending in and have a bunch of, bunch of those little dots like you get when your canvas is too dry. Right? You want it to flow over so the, your tip of your brush has to be wet. And to make it wet, we use our paint thinner. There we go. A couple branches off to the side. We start putting in a couple this way. Maybe this is an old saggy tree that's just coming down. We can't even really see the the whole trunk of it. We're just seeing the branches that are coming down. What we're mainly using is you know that purpley mixture that we made all the trees with, and then kind of dipping into the the Prussian blue every so often. Right, again, we can make, you can leave it bare or you can, you know, cover it in foliage and then highlight that and it'll be super snowy and hey, this one's got a thick old branch back here holding up all this stuff. And it comes down that way. Branches that come out goes over our water. And again, you want a lot of paint thinner so you can make these lines really sharp. It comes out there. Maybe it goes over here. You have little bits that are coming off of it everywhere. You just kind of make it scraggly looking. You know what I mean? Make it however you want to make it. These clear palettes make it a little difficult to see. You can see we're kind of going in between our blue and black mixture, right? Just to create these little branches. They don't all have to be the, the same darkness or thickness. You can have lighter ones. You can have, you know, thicker ones, lighter ones, darker ones. Doesn't matter. Does not matter. Some of them can be black, some of them can be blue. It's totally up to you, whatever you want to do. Did not mean to rhyme right there, but what it really is totally up to you. Let's kind of fill some of these in, just make them a little bit more full of paint. And then we'll come back in and add some foliage to these suckers. It looks really wicked with just these bare branches, but if everything else has all this thick snow cover on it, then why not? We'll just we'll cover it up.
this can be the longest part of your painting, making all these little branches and lines and just don't want to overdo it. Man, I might even leave it like that. Look at how good that looks. Damn it, the decisions that we have to make. Okay. You see how it says subscribe to my channel and go to my Etsy page and follow me on Facebook and on Instagram. We're just mixing up the colors. Black, blue, and crimson, right? Same purpley rest as we got over here. Just get some shadowy kind of foliage that we'll throw on these trees. Might have to do another painting where I maybe paint a bigger trunk of a tree in here and then we do a bunch of bare branches, but you know, for this one we're going to cover it. see what our fan brush looks like at least down here for the bottom one and go out and make these now we're not going to cover everything and we want our, our our paint to be really thick okay so you want to have a lot of paint on your brush you want to when you pull it away you want to see all these little dips and imperfections of you know the the paint and that way we'll, when we highlight it we'll have something for it to fill in a whole just a whole chunk we're not even making it you know a real kind of a fan brush shape this is just the whole bit of the you know the tree that's kind of come down cover up some of those branches and then we'll do it up top here and you're like Josh don't 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 ruin that nice pretty sky up top oh my god I know I know it will be more gentle up here Little branches, a little bit of little bit of leaves, some foliage. All right, again, want it to be super thick. Want to leave some of your little branches shining through, right? More of this black. We want it to be super textured. So when you pull it away, some of it sticks and kind of hangs off the canvas even so you can see it from the side. And that way, our, our highlight paint will stick to it, okay? The less textured it is, the harder it is to kind of make that, you know, depth look to it, okay? So make it super thick, super textured. You want to be able to see it from the side of the canvas, see some of the bits poking off. Okay, so every so often come around the side, you're like, okay, it's either real thick or it's not real thick. Need to add more, go back and add more. Okay, now we've got all these different kinds of trees, right? The forest is never just one set of trees and that's it. We can go up here and we'll finish the top of this sucker. Because what do we always say, guys? Finish the sides. You said it. Everywhere that we've got dark over there, we've got dark over here. Now we look like we've got this scraggly old tree that's kind of, you know, taking over the whole landscape over there. You can come down and come across those trees or come down this way. We can make another branch. Just kind of make it look the way that you want it to look. We'll come back in with our paint thinner and just pop a couple little little branches out in different places. Don't want to have too many. You just want to have a few out there. Okay. The tree, the, you know, the foliage doesn't always grow to the end of the branch. Or maybe some of it fell off or whatever. We just want to have these nice little sharp lines all throughout the sucker. Right, all different 
different sizes, maybe some of them down here. Just get a couple of sticks that you know, pop out. Down that way, just wherever. Literally wherever. Come up, here there's a few this way, or a few that way. Again, we're not I'm not doing all of it. We're just kind of filling in some of those spaces, okay? And then we'll come back in and we'll highlight it and put some stuff down the bottom, maybe a big boulder over here. And then we'll call it, you know, you might call it done. And we'll put a big bush down the bottom. Cover it in some snow. Maybe there's a little, there's a little tree over here kind of hanging out. All right, maybe we're up on top of this hill. You never know until you do it. So take the chances and do it. Gonna clean off our fan brush so it'll be nice and clean and white. You don't even have to highlight it with a fan brush. You can go back and use the oval brush if you wanted to. But I like the fan brush. You can get all these different kinds of of shapes just by kind of rotating it as you're doing it, you know what I mean? All these different shapes. So again, we'll get a whole chunk of our liquid white, throw in our titanium white, and it'll give us something to grip onto. And we'll just kind of dab it in like that, right? And you can even see how it's sort of sticking up off my palette. That's how you want it on your canvas, to where when you push in and pull away, it leaves that textured bit, okay? And then we'll just start making some big decisions over here about where we want to, you know, which parts of our bush are going to be kind of exposed to that light or but again, we're not gonna do the whole thing. We're not gonna cover up all the shadows. Right, we wanna leave the shadows in there, it gives us depth. We'll cover up some of that dark. Ooh, geez. That would've been dangerous had it popped out. Yeah. Just again, we're, you know, not everything is the same. It's not all the same white, it's not all the same dark. But we want those areas, and you know, as we're doing this, it's kind of turning into this gray, this little grayish color, right? Which is fine. We're in the shadows over here. We're on the back side of it, it doesn't need to be super bright. in even though we grab some new paint every time we're touching one of these dark areas it's going to make our our highlight color a little bit darker which is again totally fine we're just touching right we're not not kind of smushing those shapes kind of want to leave it a little bit thick but again we're not covering all of our shadows right otherwise we will have no depth. If you cover all the shadows, you gotta leave some shadows in there. Right, even though it's a little gray, it's still lighter than the than the dark, you know, shadow bit, which is gonna make it look. Oh, look! Even just coming out like that, bam! It's freaking awesome. We're not covering up all the shadows of this big honking tree over here. Okay, leave some of the dark. Don't cover it all. Leave bits and areas where you, know, you can't even tell if that's a branch or a tree, you know, or some leaves or some highlights or some shadows. Just leave it all. Don't freak out. There we go. All right. Why don't we put a couple? Put a couple little little bushes or something kind of growing up out of the out of the ground. And it's never all covered in snow. So 
we'll just have these little bushes out here. I'm going to take them, blend them out into our snowy bits there. Take our black and our brown, maybe the blue or the crimson, just use it all. Just use it all. Mix it all up and then we'll throw like a big old boulder over here. Kind of behind our little snowy shadowy bushes. Nice and thick. Right, just like we make a mountain. Set down here, it's a rock. Over there, on the sides. As you know what we always say. Take some of our brown, straight up brown, and put it on there. It's gonna be hard to see for right now. You'll see it when we throw some white in there. We'll take our white snowy boulder and turn it changing colors. And again, we're not gonna cover all of the boulder. You wanna leave some of that dark in there. You wanna have some of the other colors. Throw a little hump. A little humps and bumps. Take our bit of snow. Over the top. It's super textured painting this one. Alright, we've got our shadows, got our highlight areas. They're light and dark, right? Always gotta have light and dark. And then we'll put one more little tree over here. Yeah, we may be standing up, you know, on top of something. So, let me take get our fan brush nice and thick, and let's see. Maybe there's a you know, little pine tree out here in the water. Okay, we've got our upward strokes, right? Doesn't have to be symmetrical on each side. Some branches sticking out further on each side. You know what I mean? Doesn't have to look bright. Doesn't have to look all the same. There's another little guy over here. There we go. <clears throat> and we're gonna come in with our liquid white and the rest of our titanium white. Just kind of mix them into this goopy mess. back in. Again, we're just kind of pushing in so it's going to be real thick on the brush. Right? Maybe this guy's got just thick branches covered in snow. Right? Again, we're not going to cover everything. Not going to cover it all. We'll leave some of those dark areas in there. Leave some of the lighter areas. Take a bit of trunk on this guy just so it's a little more noticeable. Just gonna cover over them a tad. Still wanna leave some of that trunk visible, right? sucker. Just like that, guys. Shoot, you can call that one a bush down there. It doesn't have to look like a tree. Just like that, we got a finished painting. We've been painting for about 50 minutes in real time. I really like the way this one came out. I hope you guys do. I hope you try this. Uh, I had fun painting it, and um, you know, I got paint all over myself, all over the Happy Little Landscapes apron, available on Etsy, etsy.com slash shop slash happy landscape art. You can buy the hats, 
You can buy the apron, you can buy the paintings, you can buy this painting. If you're watching on YouTube, use promo code YouTube, spell it all out. That'll get you 30% off this painting and every other painting in my shop. Um, I've got prints, pillows, phone cases, all sorts of stuff. And who knows, this one might actually turn into a print. It's, it's looking really good. I really like the way this one came out. So, love you guys, okay? Subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends and family. I can only reach so many people. I need you guys to reach the rest of them for me. So, mwah. give this one a kiss, say goodbye, and uh, you guys take care. Love you.